Hello friends! If you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. For my fans and subscribers, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. I really do appreciate it. Today I am going to be talking about Jesus, the Reformer. This is actually a side of Jesus that Christians may not be familiar with. Now keep in mind, I haven't made up my mind whether he was historical. From my point of view, it is seeming to be more and more like there was an historic Jesus. But not as the Christians think of him. It is more than likely that there was a messianic figure in Palestine by the name of Yeshua at the time. From 4 BCE to 66 CE, Rome handled many disturbances in Palestine by the lower class. Religious leaders would attain many followers who would symbolically take back the Jewish homeland from Rome by crossing the Jordan, symbolizing that God would restore the land to them. Generally, these unarmed symbolic protests resulted in the deaths of many Jews at the hands of the Romans. Into this climate, many Messiah figures entered. Jesus was only one of many. Some scholars see Jesus as more of a revolutionary than a Messiah figure and argue that this is what got him into trouble with Rome. Not only did Jesus get himself in trouble with Rome, he also made enemies of his fellow Jews by proposing temple reform. He set things to enrage his fellow Jews, but he also did things contrary to the Nazarite law. Now remember, Jesus was a Nazarite. According to Levitical law, a Nazarite cannot come into contact with corpses, yet the Gospels depict Jesus as having touched the corpse of a girl and a boy to bring them back to life. He also challenged Jewish dietary restrictions by saying that it's not what a person eats that makes them unclean, but what comes out of them. He also drank wine. Jesus also challenged purity laws as can be seen when he touched lepers and in recounting the tale of the Good Samaritan. On the surface, the Good Samaritan just seems like a parable about helping your neighbor. However, a closer look at this parable shows that Jesus condemned the priest and the Levite who were more concerned about temple service than an injured man. Instead of stressing Levitical laws of purity, he emphasized inclusion and compassion. Marcus Borg contends that he taught the only way to realize the kingdom of God was to challenge the temple system wherein some Jews were excluded and oppressed because of purity laws. When Jesus threw the money changers out of the temple, he symbolically threw out the old, corrupt temple system. Not only did he cleanse the temple, he symbolically established a new priesthood and later added a new ritual called the Eucharist, or Lord's Supper. Brandt Pietre argues that the temple reforms Jesus wanted to establish were so radical that it resulted in a new cult within Judaism, destined to eventually split with Judaism to become Christianity. According to Bruce Chilton, in the absence of a system that would practice Jesus' form of purity, he instituted a purity meal 
to observe while waiting for the kingdom of God. Bread and wine replaced flesh and blood animal sacrifice. In so doing, he challenged the priesthood's authority. So basically, he was getting everyone angry, the Romans and the Jews alike. Well, friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to be notified when I come out with new content, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this episode. If you wish to support this channel, you may do so on my PayPal link. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a few videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.